Hey guys, you know about once a week I come at you with another hot conspiracy theory that really just a corner of the internet claims that they care about. Two weeks ago it was the golf balls and the hash browns. I'll keep plugging these until people You're go back and watch them. The and then last balls. week it was the Skittles marketing global positioning campaign. And this week I'm hopping on the Avril Lavigne conspiracy theory train. You guys might have seen that this was trending. I want to give a shout out to at Givenchy Ass who really championed this movement. Now the theory that Avril Lavigne had been replaced by a doppelganger named Melissa Vandela actually has existed for a while. I think it was first drummed up in around like 2015 that we yeah, saw this, but she got this going last night. Girl, you get credit where credit is due. Her Twitter bio has now since been changed to I made Avril Lavigne trend on Twitter. How is your life going? Cool, all right, let's dive in. What are the theories that people are talking about? Why is there an Avril Lavigne conspiracy train? So the first one that you, the basic thing that you need to know is that the rumors started when a website dubbed Avril Este Morta, which translates to Avril is dead, surfaced several years ago. The site apparently created the hoax to demonstrate just how easy it is to get people to believe most anything on the internet. But this started a whole, a whole trend of people diving into this. Even though the website itself issued a disclaimer saying, hey, this was super false, people were like, no, let me stop you right there, I'm going in, Avril is super dead and what happened to her and what they say happened is that she was allegedly replaced by a doppelganger named Melissa Vandela who is an actress and she bears a strong resemblance to Avril Lavigne and she was first brought in sort of on like a priming basis where if she needed to like a stunt double or paparazzi or whatever for a music video, Melissa would be there cuz she looked so much like her and then when Avril passed away and there are conflicting alleged reports about exactly what happened. I read one account that Avril died in a skiing accident and I read another that she took her own life in 2003. But most people agree that Let Go was Avril's first and only true album, if you're buying into the conspiracy theory. Okay, but something interesting you should know about Melissa, the alleged doppelganger replacement, is that you can't find her on IMDb. If she was an actress that had been around for a while, wouldn't she have an IMDb page? There are no verified social media accounts, although there are yeah, some social there's media. There's a Facebook page. There, right, there's like, like, how do you know it's real? How do you know it's yeah. her? And then one of the Twitter accounts that says it's Melissa Vandela has something like, it's at Avril is dead. So I have a feeling that if it really was her, She'd probably be a little yeah. bit more discreet than that. So why do people think that Avril has is no longer with us in whatever way, shape or form and has been replaced by a doppelganger? One, her music has changed drastically. Now, if you remember her debut release, Let Go, I do, I've seen Avril Lavigne twice in concert and I went as her for Halloween after the release of this album. So I remember, <laughs> if you didn't know I was gay then, uh, I remember uh, Avril's music very well and it has changed. And you can notice that when she released the Hello Kitty song, a lot of her old school fans were like, ah, oh, this isn't the sort of complicated nobody's home Avril that we knew and loved. Um, and then they say that the pressure of the paparazzi was too much. Givenchy ass says, I, I, what a great Twitter handle for a serious story. Uh, so she decided to hire a lookalike to walk around LA for her and pose for the paparazzi. And then they have this photo of Avril on the left, the lookalike on the right. Now, yeah, they, they do look different, but a lot of this I think has to do with sort of makeup and lighting and maybe even plastic surgery. That's something that happens in the entertainment industry. Number three, they cite that her jawline looks different. But I think face shapes do change over time. You kind of lose your baby fat a little bit. You know, you you lose weight, you yeah. gain weight here and like there. It, no, I looked at it. The they're angles. putting two pictures of Avril Lavigne next to each other. They look the same to me. I, like the jawline doesn't different look angles and different lighting. Yeah, and they're ten years apart. Right. That's true. And then, so remember her debut release came out in 2002. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about, this is going on in 2015 that we first got this conspiracy theory. Now we're in 2017. So she's gonna look really different in photos. She yeah. was 18 when Let Go came mm -hmm. out. She, I, ho I hope I look different than I did when I was 18. I do, it's confirmed. Um, and then the fourth thing that they cite is that, that her lyrics have some hints at the alleged swap. But this doesn't really jive with people that say that Avril died in a skiing accident because that would mean that she was like predicting predicting her own skiing accident, yeah. in which case just don't go skiing. Um, but I will say that if you've seen the video for Nobody's Home, have you guys seen the video for Nobody's Home, the Avril Lavigne song where she kind of has this dual personality. It's her singing, uh, it's one of my favorite videos of her. It's her singing to with her band in sort of a, a library 
<laughs> or it's like a chamber orchestra suite sort of thing. But then the the just juxtaposed with her playing like a homeless person. Yeah. You know, so it's interesting. There's a little bit of a maybe I'm a dual personality sort of thing hinted at there. Um, and then number five, she started dressing differently. I'm gonna toss that one out because. Everyone people, started dressing yeah, differently. I year. I loved Avril with the tie. That's what I went when I went as her for Halloween. You wore the, the tank top with the tie. However, you know, at some point in time, it's okay if she wanted to wear dresses. It's yeah, okay if she wanted to branch out. The tie trend kind of died with, oh, with Avril. It did, but we should bring it back. <laughs> She's not dead. Uh, number six, they're, they're, uh, this is again kind of similar to one we said before. Her face is totally different. You guys can check it out on Twitter. They have, you know, different sort of arrows and diagrams pointing to all the changes in her face. But a lot of this, I mean, highlighter. If you put didn't arrows exist. and diagrams on someone's picture immediately. Conspiracy has been proven. Conspiracy confirmed. Yeah. yeah. And then seven, there are some mysterious moles in some photos that appear and disappear. Um, I don't, I feel like that's kind of moles move around. Moles move. They move around. Your, your body changes and they move moles. around. Number eight, her handwriting is different. They have uh, two photos that this they This is cite. probably the most convincing one, even though there's not enough writing in the second picture to go off of. Also, the chorus is just, I'm a warrior. Should someone tell her that Katy Perry already wrote that song? <laughs> uh, anyway, so the handwriting is different. That's a little sketchy. I know that with the Kurt Cobain theory, that's another thing. Uh, you know whether or not he was murdered or he did commit suicide. Handwriting definitely comes into play, so I will give this a little bit more credence than the other things. Mm -hmm. However, I also think that handwriting can change over time. My, I wrote in like bubble letters in middle school. Yeah. Um, number nine, she lost her Canadian accent. Now, while this is compelling, Taylor Swift lost her country accent too, and she is alive and well as far as we know. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that it's- Avril never had a Canadian accent she, when she sang. She, not when she sang, but when in interviews and stuff, you'll notice that her accent has changed a little bit. But I went back and I watched more recent interviews with Avril promoting uh, the Hello Kitty and all the, the songs that she did with Nickelback, uh, Dark Times. In any case, um, and she still does have her Canadian accent. So I, that's another one I, I kind of have to throw out. Number 10, she hates Nickelback. And you know, so they're saying that why would she marry the lead singer of Nickelback if she hates Nickelback? Fair point, she did divorce the guy from Nickelback. So maybe that's really, it is the real lab role because she like woke up. Maybe, I don't know, maybe That's my favorite one probably. That she hates like How could she possibly like Nickelback? Yeah, yeah, so this is what, this is a, a, a Twitter back and forth that Givenchy asked. Uh, tweeted out saying, actually, I was just about to add that I read somewhere that supposedly one of Avril's old friends said she thought it was funny when she married the Nickelback guy because she always said she hated Nickelback and their music. Very compelling. Now, I will say it's fun to take a dive into these conspiracy theories yeah. on Twitter. I have to, again, commend Givenchy S for getting this trending that is not easy to do with such sort of flimsy evidence. That said, there are always gonna be conspiracy theories about artists. Yeah, but here's the thing. Avril is not important enough, sorry Avril fans, to, to <laughs> fake her own death. Like there's no group of people that are willing to put in the resources and the time and just, it would be so hard to actually cover up someone's death like that. Like you have to think about like the fucking hospital and the paramedics and all that shit, they're not gonna say a word. They're not gonna say a goddamn word this whole okay, time. Okay, to that degree, I actually recently listened to the criminal episode, um, which is a podcast on people faking their own death. You're like cheating on me. And what I like came away from- Listening to other fucking murder podcasts. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a, it's a criminal, people faking their own death, so they didn't actually die. Oh, okay, that's so interesting. Don't worry. Um, basically, the, the what I came away from with that is that it is incredibly difficult to fake your own death because yeah. you cannot, you can't contact mm -hmm. Anyone that you used to be in contact with, you want to talk to your mom on her birthday or on Christmas or any sort of holiday, they will be looking for yeah. you. It's so difficult to fake your own death. Especially Changing now with the name, internet and everything. Where are you gonna go? Yeah, you're gonna have to go somewhere that has no internet access and yeah. just so, refrain from ever looking at what's going on in the world. So if, I mean, I don't think, so what they're saying is that Avril did I here's here's what I really think. I don't know. This is classic <laughs> creepy pasta. Okay. And people know deep inside it's all bullshit, but it's fun to pretend. Yeah, it's fun to sort of And especially when you have a bunch of people participating in it, you, you want to keep it going. It's exciting, it's fun, you're engaged. 
you're doing something and then it's gonna pass. Yeah, it's and absolutely gonna pass. I would be very interested to see if Avril will sort of respond to this because it was heavily trending yesterday mm -hmm. and a little bit the day before as well. Um, so I think Avril's gotta sort of do something. I, I wanna put a picture of you up from when you were 18 to when you're now and just see how different you are. Actually, I don't know if you look that different. I've seen pictures of you when you were a child Here's and you the look thing. the same. I look more myself when I was eight than when I was 18 and faking it to look really feminine you're, to make other you're people You're one of those people whose face just stays the same, but their body grows. Okay, there is probably a nicer way to say that. No, it's probably us. Guys, we wanna hear from you in the comments section below. Were you following this Avril Lavigne conspiracy theory train going on last night on Twitter? Are there any celebrity conspiracy theories that you've heard about? Maybe you want us to cover in the future. Is Don't Grace forget, the real Grace? Is, am I the real Grace? Or when we throw up that photo, you're gonna be like, obviously doppelganger. Mm -hmm. We'll put lines and stuff on it too, so just to prove our point. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.